Pra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today we're reading 7 stories coming out of the subreddit Adult Worker Lady. Just a quick reminder, if you're having fun with me, remember to leave a fire emoji in the comments to let me know that the video is fire and like this video. Also the giveaway is pretty soon, we're close to reaching the 2500 subscribers mark, so remember to subscribe to the channel to stay tuned when the giveaway will happen. Congratulations Chrissy for the comment of the day. Brrrah. My wife is going into labor. Good luck with that hangs up so this is not this is not exactly my story it is my boss's but i was there the whole time it was happening i work at a small pizza place in a small town in australia as a casual worker this happened about three months ago and i had been working here for a while now so some odd things had happened but not as weird as this. This particular night, everything was normal, but I will skip the details. Working in store, there's me, a few other people and the boss on shift. The phone rings. We assume for someone to order and everyone but boss is busy, cutting pizzas, making pizzas, etc. The boss goes over and answers the phone. The shop is small, so you can normally overhear the person on the phone. Hello, thank you for calling the store. Uh, this is the boss speaking. How can I help you tonight? The customer talks, then I overhear that the boss sounding quite concerned reply. Uh, sorry sir, can you please repeat that? Me, being the nosy person I am, I walked around the corner and she noticed me and put the phone on speaker so I could listen to whatever was going on. I said I need someone over here right away, this it's happening now. I assume it was not a prank call at this point, which we get way too often because he sounded genuinely distressed. This to which my boss replied, Ah, uh, sure sir, what pizzas can I get for you? There was then a pause for a few seconds and the guy yelled into the phone. Are you serious? I need an ambulance right now. My wife is going into labor and the baby is coming right now. My boss, obviously not knowing what to say, just quickly blurts, uh, good luck with that sir, and immediately hangs up. So basically this guy called the pizza store instead of calling the emergency services. My only guess is he had us on speed dial, but to this day, neither me or my boss knew if he got to the hospital with his wife on time. If my wife goes into labor, and I am panicking, now I know what to do. I will do just like him. Call the pizza place and get me a large pizza cause damn, labor takes a long time. You look like an employee, you obviously are. So I was a target, wearing a red shirt when it happens. A sharp tap on my shoulder, a hard excuse me. Cast, OP, me. EM, you need an explanation? Of course it means entitled mother. And M, for the manager. So I turn around to be greeted by an impatient looking entitled mother. Excuse me, she said again. Yes, am I in your way or something? Huh, target employees are always idiots. I need this thing right now. Where are they? Ugh, I don't know lady, I don't work here. She goes red in the face and she explodes. Of course you do, you're wearing red, you are obviously an employee, now where are the items I need, you idiotic whore? I am a virgin and I am very smart, I am starting to get angry at this woman, I don't work at Target. Lady, stop yelling, I don't even work here. Ask a different employee and they will say the same thing, that I don't work here. I think I will just get the manager to fire you, that will teach you to be disrespectful of your customers. She stumps off to get my manager, I return to getting what I need and I find it. As I am looking around to make sure there is nothing else I could need, I hear this. There she is, your disrespectful employee that you must fire immediately. I turn to see the entitled mother and the manager at the entrance to the aisle. The entitled mother looking smug as though she won, and the manager looking confused as he's faced with a woman that's most definitely not one of his employees. He turns back to the entitled mother and says this, ma'am, this woman does not work here, she is just wearing red. Please stop bothering her. The entitled mother stumps off in a huff again. I had peaceful time after that, although I did see her giving me death glares from another aisle. A reverse I don't work here lady. Well, I know you don't work here. Back in the eons of time when I was a bright eyed bushy tail optimist, I decided I was sick of working to the man as a corporate wage slave. So I decided I'd work for the worst boss ever for no bucks. And this means myself. Anyway, I had one day off a week if I was lucky. I had an employee who loved giving stuff away for no bucks, so Mondays she could not really do too too much damage. Anywho, one Monday I decided to pop in to work to pick up some bits and boops 
pull into the car park and her car is nowhere to be seen. I walk into the store and was immediately greeted by a very nice man in his 50s who asked how I was doing and to let me know if he could help me. Uh sure but who are you? Turns out he was some random customer my employee had left in charge of the place while she stormed off to the bakery in town to get a effing meatball. Once we had established I was the owner and this was his first time in our shop and he had never met my employee before, I felt kind of bad for the dude. He was clearly very embarrassed. Then within a couple of minutes, the actual person, who I am paying very good money to, drives in. There is nowhere to hide with this. She came in, saying she was hungry and he seemed like a decent bloke, which he was. But the ever-loving F were you thinking? So you're paying an employee and that employee just pick up someone and say, hey, do my job for me, I'm hungry, I'll go pick up something. To that bakery super far in this town, but yeah. On the spot, I will fire that employee. She is not a Karen, but damn. How dare you do that, especially if you're getting paid a lot of money by your employer. If he is paying you that good, you could have just had the meatball delivered or call a place where they deliver food. It is literally 2019, most of the restaurants delivers to this day, even McDonald's does it. Anyway, fire that brat. I am not an employee or cutting in line, crazy person. My husband and I went to the giant American wholesale store, sort of like Mostesmo today. And it was packed. I could not find one item I wanted on our first pass through. But I was worried about making it to an appointment on time. So I said to forget it and we got in line to check out. There were three people ahead of us, all with packed carts. So I decided to run back to one of the aisles we did not check to see if I could find it. I did not find the thing I wanted, but I did find a giant bottle of hot sauce for cheap. So I grabbed that and hustled back towards checkout. This is where crazy lady who just wants to be mad at the world comes in. I am weaving my way through the madness that the checkout lanes and finally get to my husband, who has just reached the conveyor belt thing where you load your groceries so they can be scanned. I show off the bottle of hot sauce I found and put it with more other stuff. When this girl starts snapping her fingers at me, except I don't realize she's doing it at me because the place is a madhouse right until she gets about two inches from my face. <laughs> Excuse me? If you can get him something, you can get me a bag of potatoes, the red ones, not yellow. Granted, this place does not have a uniform and we live in an area where high dyed on natural colors and lots of piercings and tattoos are common. So it is not like I could not be employed there except I was missing a name tag. And I am pretty sure the employees don't go fetching items or participating in PDA with customers. I was just gapping at her while my brain attempted to figure this situation out. But fortunately, my husband stepped in and said, she does not work here, she is my wife, and she was just getting one more thing, and you're being incredibly rude. Instead of apologizing or being embarrassed like a sane person, this woman then puffed up her chest and flared her nostrils. Well then, you're cutting in line. Husband pointed out that he had been with the car the whole time, and I literally got one more thing. At this store, you go to buy a bunch of stuff in bulk, so most people have a large packed shopping cart. A single item is not going to add more than a second or two. Somehow, being called out made this woman fly into a rage, and she went storming off to find a manager, leaving her cart unattended. So once husband and I had all of our stuff ready to check out, the guy behind crazy woman passed her unintended cart and started putting his own stuff on the conveyor belt. Just one more thing to convince me never to go back to customer service. Those are not our vans. It has finally happened to me. For context, I work in my family's carpet shop, which is situated on a road with houses opposite. Today, I was cutting up some carpets with my dad, ready for a job, when we noticed irate older men pacing around downstairs, so I strolled down to see what's up. Your vans are blocking my drive. Drive. You need to move them now. Hmm. Considering all our carpet fitters are out on jobs outside our local area today, I very much doubt that. But such is the life of retail workers, so I had to oblige him. Okay, sir, why don't you show me where the vans are and I can have a look? Damn right! I need to go out and you guys are ruining my day. So we walk out front and he points triumphantly at the offending vans and straight away I can see they have got a different name on them. Sorry to say, I can't do anything about those vans. They are not ours. What do you mean you won't move them? 
I need to get out of my house. Well, you see the side of the vans? I'm not blind. Yes, I can see them. Well, that van has Stuart Little carpets written on the side. And if you take a look at our shop, we are Adult Work Here Lady carpets. Well, can't you move them anyways? They don't belong to us. I literally can't do anything. There is our phone number on the side of the van. Why don't you ring them and see what Stuart can do for you? Well, they're parked awfully. What about that van? Can you move that one? He is literally pointing at an unmarked regular van at this point. Hmm. Besides committing Grand Theft Auto on your behalf, there's not a lot I can do, but good luck with the vans. And that was that. I left the arid old man to his own devices in the street. I love the fact that the writer said, I don't work your lady carpets. That was awesome. But what did you expect, arid old man? Did you expect that any shop in the world could move any type of vans? Do you think they have a magic key that opens all the vans in the city? Maybe such a key exists and you're just not aware of it. Maybe I am not even aware of it. Maybe no one is. But as far as I know, a few people are subscribed to the channel. And if if you subscribe, you might get the key by mail. I'm just saying. Whoops. There goes my job at Dick's Sporting Goods. This happened a few months ago. I was in a Dick's Sporting Goods like a normal person and just looking for new spikes for the summer. I also happened to be wearing the same greenish color that most of the employees were wearing. But I had not noticed this as I just went over to the running shoe area without paying attention to the employees. A lady and her maybe 8 years old son walks over to me and asks where the basketballs are. I have no idea. I have never been to that part of the store. I've just been looking in the track and weightlifting section because that's why I usually enjoy doing. Uh, I have no idea. What? You work here. You should know where everything is. Also, I had taken a few boxes off of the shelf and I guess that looks like I was restocking them. I don't work here. Yes, you do. You're wearing the uniform and everything. I would like to speak to the manager. I don't have a manager. I am 13 and I do look older for my age. What? What do you mean by that? I don't work here. The lady in shock. Oh my gosh, yes you do. She makes a death glare. I am going to get you fired. Okay, have fun with that. I begin to walk away with her screaming. I will decide to just go over to the treadmills that were on display and hang out over there for a while. After whatever that was, I come back to what I was doing and pick up a pair of spikes that I thought were good. I see them in a parking lot later after I exit the store. So I decided to just smirk at them. If you have reached this far in the video, it probably means that you are enjoying the video and that probably means you will like my older videos and you will probably like my future videos. So if that is the case, please consider subscribing to my channel so you get the notification when I post new videos. That will help me a lot and that will help you too so you live a happy life. The doctors recommend it, I'm just saying. One spicy video a day keeps the doctor away. Hey, did you like this adult worker lady video? Well, if you did, you might like this song. Lady, I don't work here. No, I don't. Ha, ha. Subscribe. Ha, ha. I don't work here. Ha, ha. I know, everybody told me I should be a singer or something. I should quit making videos and start singing. Ha, ha. I don't work here, lady. Ha, ha.